do you find yourself sometimes wishing that you could connect into something bigger, into nature, to help you feel grounded or to help you through the tough stuff, if you're having a bad day or something? Well, in this episode of The Soul Garden, we are going to look at plant essences, which are beautiful, beautiful bridge builders between us and the natural world. So sit back, make a cup of tea, and I hope you enjoy this episode with me, Georgina Langdale, in The Soul Garden. Do you have that feeling sometimes, you know, where you want something to kind of support you as you work through something in emotion. Um, you want a feeling of being connected to something bigger than yourself to help you get through uh, things that come up in life. Maybe, you know, you're wanting to release those thoughts that just go round and round and round in your head or you're looking for resilience a way of touching nature touching soul to help you to help you on your journey one of the things that i work with that really have stepped up to help to be that connection, to be that support in beautiful and truly transformational ways are plant essences. Plant essences are also known as flower remedies, flower essences. They're called vibrational medicine, um, quantum medicine. They're truly beautiful. And I want to just spend a moment talking about them in this episode of The Soul Garden. So, as I mentioned before, plant essences are, are seen as vibrational medicine, quantum. They create a quantum connection for us with the plant that the essence is made from. What does that mean? I still hear you saying, <laughs> fair enough. Well, I want us to take a little step back. Everything is made from with energy. There is an energetic force in every molecule, every atom, every person, every place. Energy moves throughout our interior universe and the exterior universe. And science these days, quantum physics, is showing that um, working with energy, working with quanta, we can affect two things in different places. This is why energy medicine is becoming more and more popular because people are seeing how it can um, really transform well-being through time and through distance. And so plant essences are just one part of this puzzle. I first started working with plant energy right back when I was a kid, you know, and I didn't have all the fancy language around it then. I just knew that suddenly I could see um, a life force, an energy emanating from the plants and the trees, animals and things as well around me. I had had something really traumatic happen, which sort of cracked open the universe for me in shamanism. It's like the wound that creates the healer. And the gift for me in that wounding was this ability to really see and sense energy. Um, and this has been a long journey for me since and will continue to be. And the deeper I go into it, the more wonderful and in a way, the more simple it is. So different plants have different energetic qualities. And these energetic qualities can really speak to our own different 
emotional states and, you know, emotions create shifts in energy, don't they? You know what it's like when somebody comes into the room and they're really happy and, and that happiness, their energy is infectious. And equally, it can be the other way around too. Someone comes in, they're angry or they're depressed. They, they can bring the energy in that room down. So when we start working with plant essences, with the energy of plants, we can start finding the energy that, that, that can help uh, us with the emotional state we're in. We can find the energy that will bring us back into balance. It's really, really beautiful. So essences in themselves are kind of catch, capturing that energy, capturing that quantum relationship. And you'll often see them in little bottles. Uh, this is, a, I have in my hand a little 10 mil uh, Arceus bottle of essences. Arceus is my, um, my business that I use for making things to help people to deepen their connection to nature and plant essences and elixirs are part of that. So this is really simple. It's water, it's some brandy to preserve the water. And in that water is an energetic, is, a, is an extract of the plant uh, used. In this case, it's bee balm, Monada fistulosa. When you use these plant essences, you're literally just using a drop or two. And you can use them um, by putting a drop uh, under your tongue in kind of first aid. You could put a couple of drops in water in a drinking bottle and sip it through the day. I love um, anointing chakra points with plant essences. It instantly transforms your inner space and your exterior energetic field. It's really beautiful. So um, because we are capturing that energetic essence of the plant, suddenly we're able to take this with us wherever we go. So we can take our little bottles of plant essence and we can have them in our handbag. If we're um, going away, we can put them in school bags. We can take them into all sorts of different settings um, homes, rest homes, hospices, hospitals, therapists' rooms. They're really gorgeous. Yoga studios, fabulous for yoga. Because we're working at an energetic level with the plant as well, we're not working with a physical, it's not like a big physical extract. Um, they don't contraindicate with other medications. And this makes them beautifully um, flexible for use in so many different settings. I've worked with plant essences in hospitals and in hospices, all sorts of places. And it's really beautiful because they're not interfering with anything else. They're just helping bring emotional states back into balance. We're hearing increasingly this um, lovely um, awareness, growing awareness of the benefits of connecting to nature. Studies are showing that getting out in nature, forest bathing, taking a walk, meditating in nature, anything that connects us with nature can be deeply restorative. And so working with plant essences is part of that beautiful restorative quality that we're seeking to connect with. We're in a really crazy world right now. We might find ourselves in lockdown or unable to travel any great distance because of COVID restrictions and things like that. So plant essences also enable you to have that connection to nature even in the absence of nature, because you've got it right here in a bottle. When I've been working with people, for example, uh, in really living in very high density urban environments, 
connecting them to nature through the use of plant essences has been incredibly powerful for them. So when I'm working with coaching clients or um, people have done my true nature renaissance reading i identify some of the plants with them that can be real supports for them and then they can use the plant essence wherever they are to create that balance so why are these plant essences creating balance well for throughout time uh, we have been seen in oneness with our, with nature and with cosmos. And if you think about it, we are all made from the same things. We're all made from prima materia as uh, Paracelsus in the 15th century would describe. So this idea then of different resonances of plants is described beautifully in medieval times as the doctrine of signatures. So doctrine of signatures gives us clues as to the therapeutic um, benefits of a plant. We look at things like color, form, where it grows, how it grows in relation to other plants. And um, we look at its legend and its folklore and, and it even just a simple thing like its botanical name or its common name can teach us much about uh, the plant's relationship with our own health and well-being. So when we understand the therapeutic benefits of a plant, we can then start to think um, kind of upper level into soul and spirit and emotion. What is that therapeutic a benefit of that plant doing also for our emotional state? So, for example, a plant like cleavers, gallium aparine, that in herbal medicine has a real affinity with the lymphatic system. We, we, we use cleavers to help us release toxins from the body through urine and sweat. What does it do for our emotional state? It can help us release the thoughts that uh, no longer serve us well. It's a beautiful way of helping us release emotional states that aren't serving us well also. So what I love about working with plant essences is that they invite us to observe the natural world more deeply and for us to become really cognizant of our resonances with the natural world, the resonances that can bring us back into balance, that can support us through the tough stuff of life. And in doing this, we start really tapping into an ancient way of being with the natural world. We start to see ourselves reflected in nature around us and we start to find our natural allies. And this is absolutely beautiful nature therapy. This is medicine for the soul. You can think of plant essences in a way as bridge builders, building bridges between you and nature. And one plant may support you in one state of mind and another in a different state of mind. Uh, there can be plants that can support you in those acute, intense moments where you really need emotional first aid. And then you can work with other plants to gradually restore balance to your emotional constitution, to your sense of well-being. You can make elixir blends of these different plant, plant essences as well. You can work with them in, in so many ways. I've used plant essences with clients and, and myself and friends and family for, for all sorts of things, um, for confidence, for creating resilience, for releasing um, anger, or guilt or fear. They've been beautiful working with people who are um, working through grief. I've used them at the bedside when someone is dying. I've used them for memory, for creativity, for confidence, 
for joy and for self-love and self-worth. So plant essences, they don't contraindicate with other medications. They're not addictive, but they are a beautiful part of a daily practice of feeling oneness, feeling connected to something so much bigger than yourself. Hildegard von Bingen, who was an abbess in the 12th century, she said that um, we need to work with nature for our healing. And in fact, she said she called this idea viriditas, greenness, that tapping into the greenness of nature was essential for our health and well-being. And, you know, also when we look at it in terms of chakras, our heart chakra is green. We've got nature at our very core of our emotional well-being. If you'd like to learn more about plant essences, then uh, I encourage you to take a look at my website, Centre for Nature Connection. I also have a whole range of plant essences and plant elixirs, which I make as combinations of single plants. Um, they're available to purchase, but when you do the training with me, I'll teach you how to make your own plant essences. You know, it's beautiful using plant essences of any kind, but the magic really steps up when you start making your own essences yourself. Truly, truly beautiful. And I also will be offering webinars that you can buy a ticket for to, to uh, come to lectures where I share different ways of working with plant essences for therapy, for ritual, for end of life care, for coaching, a whole uh, range of topics. When we connect into nature, we open up a way of being with our own interior world that is beautiful. It is truly, truly transformational. Working with plant essences is also they tread incredibly lightly on this earth. Unlike essential oils, which are beautiful, but require huge amounts of plant material to make a very small and potent physical extract. Plant essences are the complete opposite. They use a very small amount of plant material, even just a few flower heads will be able to make you enough plant essence to last you years sometimes. So they're kind to the planet. They're kind to you. They are soul food. They are medicine for these modern times. I hope that uh, that has given you a little insight into the ways and wonders of plant essences. If you'd like to find out more, if you want to take it further and do some training with me, head to the website Center for Nature Connection, which is at georginalnature.com. You can follow me also on Facebook, Center Nature Connection, and I look forward to connecting with you there. Until the next episode, that's me, Georgina Langdale, and this is The Soul Garden.